watch 50 hours of reality television? That's okay. I've got you covered with a little reality sprinkle. Just enough to keep you up to date on all of the reality news this week. My name's Mackenzie Watt, and this is your reality sprinkle. We kick this week off Sunday night with The Amazing Race and The Celebrity Apprentice. The new pen and teller of reality TV is Art and JJ of The Amazing Race. One never shuts up, and the other can't get a word in edgewise. They breeze through the competitions this week, going through the watermelon stacking competition and the bottle dancing competition way before everyone else and made it to the mat in first place. The other teams didn't have the same luck. The hot twins, Elliot and Andrew, just couldn't string it together long enough to stay in the competition. But Rachel and Brendan came in second place. The Guidos, Danny and Joey Fitness, came in third place. And Vanessa and Ralph barely stayed in the competition. On the Celebrity Apprentice, it was time to promote yet another Trump brand name. This time, it was Ivanka's. The teams had to try to display her fashion line in a Lords of Taylor window display. When it's guys versus girls in a fashion competition, guess who wins? The girls, obviously. The unanimous manager was George Decay, and unfortunately, he was fired this week. Live long and prosper, George. On Monday night, the voices battle rounds began in the boxing ring. No, I'm not kidding you. They literally sang in the boxing ring. The singers prepared to face off against their competitors, and half of them stayed and the other half went home. Prepare to tune in next week when I tell you exactly the same thing. On Tuesday night, the biggest losers switched things up. Trainers Bob Harper and Dovet Quincy switched teams, which put the contestants into a tizzy, for which they decided, ugh, we're not even going to try to lose weight this week. The red team won a two-pound advantage this week in a challenge, and with the two pounds, they had a total weight loss of 22 pounds. But don't worry, when it comes to mediocre results, the black team outdid them and showed us how to really fail. The black team had a total weight loss of 12 pounds. For an entire team! <sighs> in another twist, the winning team got to vote a member of the losing team off, and of course, they got rid of their biggest competition, Cassandra of the black team. Wednesday night starts off with Survivor. Team Monono has gone Monazzo. The men got all bum hurt when the women won the reward, but when the men won immunity, they bum puzzled all of us by following the idiotic ideas of anti-poor, anti-black, anti-disabled, anti-creative. Except me for who I am, Queen Colton. Queen Colton couldn't live with ghetto trash, as he calls Bill Posley. He convinced the men that they should give up their immunity, go to tribal, and vote Bill off. Amazingly, his subjects did as he decreed. Way to go, Bill Posley, for being the bigger man in this situation. On American Idol, the top 13 debuted on stage. Standout performances were given by Jessica Sanchez, Philip Squared, Holly Cavanaugh, and Joshua Ledet. Jessica Sanchez took on I Will Always Love You and stunned us all. Watch out for her. She is most likely to win this whole thing. All the way over on the Sci-Fi Channel, Face Off announced their final three. It was Jurassic Park night, and the contestants had to make their best human-dino hybrid. It was a double elimination, and Matt and Sue, here, were sent home. Congratulations to Race, Ian, and RJ for making the final three. On America's next top model, The British Invasion, the rivalry continues. Things get interesting with their shakeovers, and funky hair is in, and apparently, so is Attitude. And as if the Kardashians aren't already everywhere, they have to be on America's Next Top Model too. Enough! Momager, you're doing your job just a little too well. Thursday night, American Idol's bottom vote getting girl was Elise Testone, and the bottom vote getting guy was Jeremy Rosado. This process, process dragged on for an hour. I could have done this in five minutes, literally. And so painfully, and with so much regret, J-Lo let go of her risotto. There was a bachelor reunion where the girls tell all. And on the Top Chef reunion, winner Paul Quee and the cast discuss the season. Join me next week when we add a new show to the reality sprinkle. Fashion Star premieres on NBC on Tuesday. My name is Mackenzie Watt. I hope you enjoyed yourself here today on Reality Sprinkle. And until then, sprinkle later.